Omar Figueroa Jr. on 956sports.com. Sponsored by Cito's Restaurant, the inventor of the Botana Platter. Serving great Mexican and seafood cuisine for over 20 years in Westlaco. And Stormy Colors, your premier auto detail place. Here we are with Omar Figueroa. It is the day of the fight, and he's getting ready to fight for the vacant interim WBC lightweight title. Omar, it's the day of the fight, a few hours away. It's uh, early in the morning. Uh, take us th through what goes on in your mind. What are you thinking about right now? Just to try to prepare yourself mentally for every situation that can happen in the ring. Um, you know, I've been trying to find uh, ways or, or reasons as to why he would beat me and uh, you know trying to I guess prepare mentally for for some of those scenarios and trying to you know but uh, honestly there hasn't there hasn't been uh, many I don't I I really don't see how how he's going to beat me I don't think he's faster I don't think he's stronger I don't think he's smarter I don't think his foot movements better I don't think his defense is better so honestly I just I don't I don't see myself losing you have fought lefties before. You can go lefty yourself. What is your strategy tonight? Well, um, actually, we we're just discussing that on the, on the way over here uh, with my trainer and I. So uh, I think we're gonna go out there and uh, do do what I do best. You know, uh, go feel him out first couple, you know, first few seconds, and see how how hard he hits. See, you know, how his defense, what he's gonna do, how he's gonna move, and you know, how he throws his punches because everybody, you know, is different. So we're going to see how, how he fights, I guess, the first half of the first round. And then uh, after we figure that out, then we're going to attack. You started off uh, representing the city of Westlaco. Then you were representing the Rio Grande Valley. Now it seems like you're representing the state of Texas as well. You know, when they announced you, it said Texas fighter, Omar Figueroa. How does all that feel? How, is that all sunk in yet? Well, I don't. I don't know if I wanted to sink in. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is this is all surreal. Still, this is. I don't know. It's it's unbelievable the, that we're here already. Sure. Uh, I saw this coming. You know, we knew. I, I for some reason knew it was gonna happen. I knew I was gonna be here. But it's just you know, it's one thing to imagine, and it's another thing being there. Uh, so I'm just grateful, you know, I, I, I feel like I'm blessed to have this, uh, this opportunity and, uh, and uh, the best thing about it is that I have my whole family here, you know, uh, my aunts, my uncles, cousins, everyone's here to, to share this with me, so I will definitely not let them down. All right, well, Omar Figueroa is already the most, well, one of the most famous athletes from the Rio Grande Valley, but a win tonight, and he will be the very first boxer from the Rio Grande Valley to win a world title. Good luck, Omar. With Omar Figueroa, I'm Carlos Roberto for 956sports.com.